What's up guys, welcome to episode two of the ACL experience. Today marks three days out of my ACL reconstruction surgery. In today's video, I kind of wanted to share with you guys some exercise and movements that I've personally incorporated in my program, trying to regain strength and mobility leading into the operation. Now, before you get started back with the weights, make sure you are consulting with your doctor. I did get cleared a couple of weeks ago by my orthopedic surgeon to start training with weights again under a couple conditions. One being that we aren't training side to side so that all movements are in one plane of motion. And two, that we are training lighter with the weight than what we're normally accustomed to. So to kind of give you guys a point of reference, about a week before I tore my ACL, I was able to hit 335 on squats for reps. But as you'll see in the upcoming videos, I only go up to 135 on squats and RDLs. Just really trying to activate the muscle and just keep it working. Uh, focusing on, on proper intent, proper form. You know, we're not out here trying to impress anyone. You know, you're not trying to flex on any girls or nothing like that. So just make sure that you are focusing on your form and that we're just trying to maintain some strength before going into the operation. Now to kind of give you guys an idea of how I've been structuring my workouts, uh, in particular, my leg workouts leading into the op, I'll normally start with a 15 to 20 minute warm up. So whether that's on a bike or walking, just really, again, trying to warm up your body and get your joints warm. Um, after that, I'll jump into a little circuit where I'll do about 15 body weight squats, 10 body weight lunges on each leg. I'll do a banded ab abduction. And then on top of that, I'll also throw in some hip thrusts, really trying to warm up my legs. I'm um, trying to get them ready for the movement patterns that are to come. Now, after that, I jump into the weights. I'll slowly build my way up to a top set. Again, you'll see though, we're only going up to 135, really just trying to focus on the movement itself and keeping form tight. Now, I do want to apologize ahead of time. I know you might not be able to see uh, the complete angles. You know, I couldn't have anyone following me with the camera. It was just myself. So I'll try to explain the different cues and techniques that you should look out for if you do choose to perform the exercise. So that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy the video and find it resourceful. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Leg day, three days out of hop, let's go. All right, what's up guys? As you can tell, this is part of the circuit where I do two rounds, about 15 body weight squats, really trying to keep tension on the quads. As you can notice, I'm not locking out at the top. Again, that's to keep tension on the quads and off the knees. All right, so up next, as you can tell, we have our standing single leg lunges. I do have one foot elevated on top of the rack. You don't need to do that, but that implements an extra stretch on the quad. Again, not locking out. All right, so up third, I have some abduction movements. As you can tell, I have a band slightly over my knees, keeping my feet close and focusing simply on spreading my thighs. This is gonna warm up your glutes and prep your body and your hips for the upcoming movements. So whether that's the RDL and the squat coming up later. So again, just try and make sure that everything's tight and the only things moving are your legs. All right, so the last movement here in the circuit is just a hip bridge. You know, I keep the band on. You can easily take the band off, but I keep it uh, on for extra tension. Again, following the same principle, feet together, legs apart, and just uh, bracing through my hips and driving, th uh, driving through my hips, excuse me. All right, so this is the first exercise using weights. As you can tell, it's a Romanian deadlift, RDL, stiff leg deadlifts, whatever you want to call it. But pretty much we are just using our hips here to drive the weight up, making sure everything's tight, core's engaged, lats engaged, and all the tension is in the hamstrings. Uh, no pushing through our knees. And again, we're still going relatively lighter. I'm just trying to get some blood in the muscles. All right, so this is by far my favorite exercise of all time. You can probably tell I love squatting. Um, so here we are keeping the weight light again, making sure our core is engaged, lats engaged, everything's tight, driving through the heels. You know, make sure your form is nailed and perfect before you start adding weight. Again, make sure you're consulting with your doctor and your PT if this is something that you're allowed to do. Again, I was clear to train with weights as long as it is a light and we are moving in one motion. All right, so up next, as you can tell, we have our single leg leg extensions. Uh, you probably noticed my hands are under my thighs. The reason I do this is to slightly increase the range of motion. If my hands weren't there, I wouldn't be allowed to get a complete stretch at the bottom. Not saying that this is a complete stretch, uh, the way this uh, little bench is built is a pretty crappy one from Walmart, but it is something that I can make work for the time being. So after that, you know, you're obviously going to switch your legs. Um, I try and go for about, a, I do like two to three sets, um, 
trying to go to failure or muscular failure at this point, not when you're tired, but when you can't properly contract the muscle any further. Um, so that's pretty much it for this. If you guys get the idea, you know, you're just gonna wanna go back and forth and train your, your legs. Always remember to be smart, you know, don't start humping the weight and control the movement as well. Anyways, thanks for checking in. We're gonna take it back. I have a couple more things to show you guys. Um, if you guys don't have access to these weights or machines, you can replicate the movements with bands. So that's what oh, that's what the upcoming clip is gonna be. All right, so if you guys don't have a weighted uh, leg curl or a leg extension, you can easily simulate the exercise with a band. Uh, you could find some of these on Amazon for like $10, $15, a uh, variety pack, different tensions. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your band and you're gonna connect it to a post, something that's not gonna move. So for example, I'm gonna use a squat rack. Um, if you don't have a rack, you can always tie it to the bed post or a table or a couch or something like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it real quick. All right, so you guys are just gonna grab uh, one of the ends, you're gonna wrap it around, and then you're gonna get the other end and stick it through the loop, pull it so that it's tight. So obviously it's not, it's not going anywhere, it's not moving. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna end up putting uh, one foot, one ankle through the loop. And if you were to leave it like this and perform a leg curl, uh, the band's just gonna slip and uh, like leave your foot. So what you wanna do is, um, once your foot is in the loop, just grab whatever end and do a double loop. So now it's uh, extra secure, right? So now the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna lie on a bench, on a couch, on a table, or something like that, and you're gonna perform the same exercise. Uh, making sure that you're keeping your hips uh, in the pad, uh, keeping your core tight and not, not using momentum, all strictly contraction in your hamstring. All right, so you probably noticed that uh, the tension is gone at the bottom of the movement. Uh, that's just kind of the nature of using bands. You lose tension at the bottom. And so if you wanted to make it harder, you could always scoot the bench a little forward, or you can just uh, kind of cut the range of motion a little short. So instead of going uh, almost all the way extended, you can stop a little short. All right, so if you wanted to simulate the leg extension, it's pretty much the same concept. You're gonna grab your band, um, and you're gonna connect it to a post, like so. Uh, this one you're gonna wanna attach lower. Now, you're just gonna sit on the edge of a chair, of a table, um, wherever, and it's pretty much the same concept. You're just gonna uh, put the band under. Now, you can see, if you just do one loop, uh, there's potential for it to kind of slide upward. Um, if you wanted to stop that, it's gonna be the same concept. You're gonna do a double loop. So if you wanted to replicate like an RDL or Romanian deadlift, stiff like deadlift, whatever you wanna call it, um, if you don't have any weights, again, you're gonna use a band. Uh, it's pretty easy, uh, just grab the ends, um, and then you're just gonna stand right over it. So just make sure it's centered. You're gonna step over the bands like so, and then uh, it's the same concept. Make sure your core is tight, uh, and you're bracing uh, a little bend in your legs, and then you can just uh, grab the bands from here, and uh, it's pretty much the same concept, so. And then if you wanted to make it harder, obviously you could just grab lower on the bands, or you can widen your stance as well. So for example, this band's only uh, probably around like 15 pounds of resistance, it's not that heavy. So if you wanted to simulate the heavier load, again, just grab it from the bottom, like so, and then you can just perform your exercise like that. Now obviously, uh, tension's gonna increase, uh, as you perform the movement. So obviously at the top of the movement, there's gonna be the most tension on the band. One of the prehab movements that I've been doing to also work on mobility is pretty much gonna be a quad stretch. You're gonna to wanna to lie flat on your back. You're gonna to wanna to grab a rope or a belt or something like that. I'm using a band this time, but you're pretty much gonna wrap it around your foot like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie flat on your back, right? You're gonna have your leg completely straight like so. And you're gonna, without the assistance of pulling on the band, you're just gonna contract your leg as far back as possible, right? Keeping your feet flat, all in the leg, no momentum. And then once you can't contract your leg any further, that's when you use the band or your rope or your belt to kind of give it a little extra stretch. You shouldn't be feeling any pain. You just wanna feel a good stretch right here at the top. And you're, you're gonna wanna do two sets of 10 
Each rep has a 10 second hold, right? And then you're gonna go back out and you're gonna repeat the process over again. So now another exercise that you can do to build your the strength in your hips and your glutes is pretty much gonna be an abduction movement. You're gonna lie flat on the floor, on your side like so. And what you're gonna do is keep everything straight and locked in and really through your glutes, make sure you lift your leg, get a good squeeze up here. And you're gonna wanna do two sets of 10 with those as well, each side. So the third exercise you could do for prehab, are, they're called clamshells. It's the same, it's almost the same concept as a previous movement. You're working your glutes and your hips. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna lay on your side as well, keep a 90 degree bend in your knees. So your legs, right? You're gonna bring it up to a 90 degrees and just focusing on your injured leg, you wanna bring it up as well, just like so. Making sure you're getting a good contraction at the top, all in the, all in the glutes and the hips and your abductors. Now, if you wanted to use a band, you would just slip the band on pretty self-explanatory, like so. And you, you want it around a little over the top of your knees. You're just gonna lie flat on your side, 90 degree angle, and it's the same concept. Just make making sure you're getting a good contraction in your glute right here. You should feel it in your abductors, right? That's it. One of the fourth exercises you can do for prehab, it's, it's pretty much the same concept as well, but this time you're gonna lie flat on your stomach. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna just uh, keep your leg straight with your injured leg and you're just gonna lift it up like so. Uh, really focusing on getting a good contraction in your glute like that. Two sets of 10 each leg. Try not to bend your leg and start doing this. All right, so besides that, um, you can also do quad stretches and hamstring stretches. Those are pretty self-explanatory. You know, the stuff you used to do in PE in like the seventh grade. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment box and I'll, I'll really try and get back to them. You know, these are exercises, prehab workouts that were prescribed to me by a physical therapist. Now I'm trying to share these with you guys just in case you guys might not have access to a PT or you guys are just curious. But again, always make sure you're consulting with your doctor and your PT if uh, they're available, you know, so you're not injuring yourself. Again, just to reiterate, this is really just trying to get mobility and strength by going into the operation. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated along the process. So thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Maddie B checking out.